seems recently I've just gone all MacGyver because this is another one of those sort of bodgy videos, a bit like the uh, Wooden Spoon Steadicam. If you haven't seen that, you can check it out. Um, <clears throat> when you're recording sound, it's good to have a nice studio microphone like this. But what's even better is you can have a pop shield in between you and a microphone, something like that. But this isn't one of those expensive commercial ones. You're probably not surprised because it does look a bit, you know, tie rappy and, you know, dangly and stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's something you can knock together yourself. What do you need? You need uh, an old coat hanger, well, it could be a new one, but, you know, it's good to reuse rather than use stuff that's new. Uh, your daughter's old tights. Um, you could get Padland tights, that would be fine. Um, <clears throat> a tie wrap or two. I've used a box, an old box of matches. In fact, this isn't an old box, but it'll serve to illustrate. You need something to cut the tights and something to cut the, and bend the coat hanger. <laughs> what you need to do is to cut the coat hanger. Oh, and in best blue Peter fashion, here's one I prepared earlier. So, really the size of this doesn't matter. I mean, if it was massive, it would get in the way. Um, it's just really to, you know, it's the, the breath that's coming out of your mouth. Um, so, anything like that will do nicely. And then you just want to get a little bit of these tights. They've obviously been chucked out for a reason, so there'll be a ladder in them somewhere, almost certainly. And that's a good place to start because you don't want to, you know, you want to keep as much useful fabric as possible yeah in fact, look, there we go there's so good ladder there don't want that bit so cut it below there and this hasn't got to be pretty at all just get rid of that <clears throat> and all i do is again just check that the fabric is reasonably useful okay that looks fine and then um you could just, you know, if you've got the toe end and that's fine, you could just put that over. Um, but I don't know, I, I find this sort of toe end a bit ugly, really. Well, fuss pot, some people are just dreadful, aren't they? Um, so what I tend to do is, okay, I'm happy with that amount. It's going to stretch over there, it will stretch quite a bit. Let's just cut the toe off and tie a knot in it. Take your loop, stick it in. And then, get a tie wrap. Oh, I call them tie wraps, don't I? Well, that's just what I call them ever since I worked in a factory as a kid. Well, a teenager. Um, <clears throat> and you've basically then got your, your structure. A little bit of trimming. <clears throat> the effectiveness is increased by taking it away from the front of the microphone. So, you know, a gap like that is fine. You know, a gap like that is probably more common. But, yeah, you might be able to manage it, you know, with a bit more effort. But certainly with it arranged that way around. A little bit of a fiddle. And there you have your pop shield. That's good, isn't it? 